With not enough data to go off of early on in the pandemic, researchers like Dr. Jeanette Brown with the University of Utah were turning to social media to learn how COVID-19 affects the body. We were actually on Twitter with a lot of our colleagues in New York and in uh, Washington saying, hey, what are you seeing? The lack of data created problems when trying to treat those suffering from the long-term effects of the virus, like Lisa O'Brien. At first, there was a lot of dismissal, disbelief. She tested positive nearly 11 months ago and founded the Utah COVID-19 Long Haulers Facebook group to help those like her find answers. Her focus now is on helping researchers learn more about the virus. So we know like what we're, what we're struggling with. We just need to find more researchers now to look into this and kind of dig deeper. Since the onset of the pandemic, several studies have been published. One of the most recent surveyed over 3,700 people internationally and found that patients were experiencing over 200 different symptoms. Dr. Brown says the data helps researchers find patterns in how the virus is affecting people long term. And then that gives us ways to generate hypotheses or ideas uh, what research needs to come next. Which in turn helps doctors and medical professionals develop ways to treat patients moving forward. If we can confirm a mechanism of what's going on with these disease, then you know, you're looking at then treatment options. Dr. Brown and others are working to create a post-COVID clinic at the University of Utah. And it's a place for us to practice the best care that we know of currently and as new things become available make those things available to patients the new research and creation of post-covid clinics gives long haulers like lisa o'brien hope it just feels good to know that we're not being ignored anymore um, and that there are people that want to see us get better. Dr. Brown said the post-COVID clinic at the University of Utah will be opening in the coming weeks, and a fundraiser has been set up to help researchers there continue to gather data on COVID-19. We'll link you over to it at fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.